Well, while virtually inaugurating the Indian Space Startup Sky Roots Infinity Campus in Hyderabad, the Prime Minister has hailed the Generation C for its contribution to the space sector as the central government opened the sector to private players. He says India's youth puts the nation's interests first. They utilize every opportunity wisely. When the government opened the space sector, the country's youth, especially our Gen Z, leaped forward to take full advantage of it. Skyroot is India's foremost private space firm founded by IIT graduates and former ISRO scientists Pawan Chandana and Bharat Dhaka. The company made history in November 2022 when, the, when it launched the suborbital rocket Vikram S, becoming the first private Indian enterprise to send a rocket into space, according to a PMO statement. Let's in fact listen in to uh, PM Modi's take on nation's Gen Z. Aaj ye Gen Z engineers, Gen Z designers, Gen Z coders, or Gen Z scientists, nai nai technology bana rahe. Propulsion system ho, composite materials ho, rocket stages ho, satellite platforms ho, Bharat ka yuva aaj un khetro mein kaam kar raha hai, jin ki kuch saal pehle kalpana bhi sambhav nahi thi. Aaj all right, my colleague Arzu Seat with us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Uh, Arzu, of course, the Prime Minister has spoken about Gen Z while, of course, inaugurating Skyroot's Infinity Campus as well as unveiling Vikram 1 uh, rocket. What more can you tell us? Well, Prime Minister Narin Modi lauded the Indians and uh, Gen Z for its contribution uh, to the space sector after the government opened the sector to private players. Uh, in fact, Prime, uh, Prime Minister virtually inaugurated the Indian space startup uh, Sky Roots Infinity Campus in Hyderabad by video conferencing and unveiled uh, Sky Rocket's first orbital rocket Vikram 1 with the capacity to launch the satellite into orbit. Addressing the inauguration ceremony by video conferencing, Prime Minister stated that more than 300 startups are now functioning in India's space sector after the entry of the private players. So definitely the private players entering the space sector is one of the more important and achievement for the space sector and also Prime Minister has lauded the India Gen Z for their contribution in every field. Yes, sir. All right, uh, Arzu. Stay on with us. Let me hop across to my colleague Brian Thomas. Brian, of course, the Prime Minister there making big statements. He's saying, of course, that the Gen Z uh, is a promising generation from engineers to designers to coders. Uh, what is the information that we're tracking at this point in time? Now, the, this is really a breakthrough moment where the Prime Minister himself praised India's Gen Z for driving rapid growth in the country's space sector. After it was open to private players, not only that, he virtually inaugurated the Skyroot Aerospace New Infinity, uh, uh, New Infinity Campus in Hyderabad and unveiled with the company's first orbital rocket, that is a different one that is capable of also launching into orbit. Addressing this very event via video conferencing, he noted that more than three of these startups are now operating in their space ecosystem. Not only that, Modi, Narendra Modi also hailed uh, the very initiative. Uh, the very sheer engineers, the Gen Z engineers, designers, coders, scientists for developing advanced technologies from propulsion system and composite materials to. Right, absolutely. Uh, Brian, I think we've lost you over there. But of course, we're talking about the Prime Minister there lauding India's Gen Z. We've of course seen a major development take place uh, in front of our eyes. India's now first commercial private rocket has been unveiled. We're talking about Vikram 1. This is of course a big development that has taken place. And the Prime Minister, while inaugurating, has of course spoken about the Gen Z and the critical role that they're playing. Uh, in order to bolster India, its development, to come up with new ideas. My colleague Brian, in fact, is back with us on the broadcast. Brian, 
uh, you were telling us something, please, over to you. Oh, well, yes, uh, clearly, uh, you know, the, uh, the fact that I was mentioning that the Prime Minister hailed Gen Z engineers, designers, coders, scientists for developing advanced technologies from propulsion systems and composite materials to rocket studies and satellite platforms. He even added that India's private uh, space talent is growing and gaining global recognition, making the country an increasing, uh, increasingly attractive destination for international industry itself, yes. Right, absolutely. Brian, I'd also like to understand from you, when we talk about Vikram 1, we're also understanding at this point in time that the facility, uh, there were two inaugurations that the Prime Minister did. One was, of course, uh, inaugurating the Space Tech Startup Skyroot Aerospace Infinity Campus. We're understanding that the facility is spread across 2 lakh square kilometers. That's a lot of... Uh, of course, land that has been given, it focuses on design, developing, integrating, testing multiple launch vehicles and so much more and above and beyond that. Uh, also, of course, uh, we're talking about the unveiling of Vikram 1. If you could help us, give us details on both these inaugurations that have taken place simultaneously. Oh, well, yes, clearly. The Prime Minister highlighted India's journey from launching rocket parks uh, on bicycle ship, building some of the world's most trusted launch vehicles, creating decades of work by ISRO. Skyroot itself was founded by former ISRO scientist Kavit Chandana and uh, Bharat Data. Not only that, Skyroot's new infinity campus spans around 200,000 square feet, uh, very rightly mentioned. And not only that, it will house facilities for designing, integrating, and testing multiple launch vehicles with the capacity to produce one orbital rocket per month. Not only that, it's very important to note that in the year 2022 itself, Skyroot became the first Indian private company to launch a rocket in the space with its sub. Uh, Subortial uh, vehicle Vikram S and now Vikram 1 has also been launched by the Prime Minister himself. Yes. Right, uh, Brian, thank you so much for sharing all those details with us. In fact, joining us at this point in time is Major Mohammed Ali Shah, defense expert. So thank you for your time speaking to us on NewsX. And uh, we want to talk about Gen Z. Uh, of course, the Prime Minister has, of course, highlighted the fact that Gen Z is uh, the up-and-coming generation, a youthful mind, a youthful vision, and, uh, you know, Gen Z is a generation that's going to be putting out a bigger plan, a bigger vision for a better India. What more can you tell us? Right. You know, if I have to explain to you technically what Gen Zs are, for our viewers, they are anyone who is born between the of 1997 to 2012, which means they would be the upper age would be about say 28 years old approximately. Now that means the youth of our country from 13 to 28, around that age, all the teenagers including, right? So which means that obviously it is the youth of a country which is the future of tomorrow, and we all know the majority of our country's population is of youth and who are very technically sound, very technically savvy, and the new generation is not what we used to be. They're much, much smarter than us. So most certainly when the Prime Minister says that the Gen Z is the icon and they are the role model that everyone's looking up to them, especially of India. In fact, what I can say is most certainly, uh, we know, all know the Prime Minister's foresight. He is far-sighted. He thinks not just about tomorrow. He sees of uh, something which is uh, later on as well, much, much later on, not just only of tomorrow only. So most certainly the Gen Z, uh, like we have Gen Z, we have a uh, new generation, we have uh, uh, Gen X, we, mm. have, uh, uh, we have different generations coming up. So we, uh, so I, uh, we consider, I consider myself also to be a part of Gen Z, all that right. But uh, having said that, actually, the young generation, they are the ones who will handle the future of the country. Out of the Z, we, we will have the future leaders, have the future scientists, we'll have doctors, teachers, engineers, we'll have innovators. So, certainly, uh, the privacy is something very encouraging fact. Yes. All right. Uh, with that, sir, I'd like to thank you for joining us on NewsX, sharing your perspectives with us. Uh, on that note, we leave it there and shift our focus. To